Evening browsers, it's your main man browser shoe back with another SB dunk review for Jordan 4 SB Retro. You know what I'm talking about. This time we have the real versus fake for the uh, Air Jordan 4. Pine green, you know what I'm talking about. That SB colorway, which is very, very fire in my opinion, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna first talk off look at the boxes. Okay. Hope y'all do enjoy this video. Been trying to do this video for a minute, but I ain't gonna lie, it's been kind of lazy, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, first starting off with the box lid. It's a retail box lid, this is the rep box lid, okay. Now, to my surprise, the boxes are actually the same size. Like, there is no there is no discrepancy in the box. They both line up pretty equally. Okay, as you can see. Alright. Not really a color difference in my opinion. The boxes, in my opinion, look spot on. As far as, like, the color and um, the feel of them, okay. Now, we come to the inside. Here's the retail on the bottom, the rep on top. Like I said, you can look at those, the lining, well not the lining, but the like the code of them. Air Jordan 4 Retro SP, Air Jordan 4 Retro SP, they look the same, you know what I'm talking about? Only difference I see is the rep comes with the price tag and of course the retail does not. So they're still putting them price tags on there, but to me though, the labels look the same. In terms of the paper, it's how the rep came, you know, has it has this paper, but it's not as it's not as nice in my opinion. And it does come with the one white sheet of paper, but they weren't folded over. And it comes with the, the Yikum sticker right there. Okay, so this is the rep paper. Not as thick that I've noticed as compared to the retail. Here's my retail inside. It came a lot more nice and neat. This paper just feels a little bit rougher, a little bit more wax on it. Does come with the Yikum sticker right there. But the white paper is more flattened out and my shoes came you know folded over the one with the paper so the retail presentation of paper was a little bit nicer okay all right let's go ahead and jump on into the shoe this time we're gonna start off with both right pairs all right so both right okay and let's take a look at that heel first you know, the iconic nike sb okay let's see if i'm looking at it I'm looking at it. It's like the stitching right here is a little different. Like looks like it's darker green or lighter green right there. Tabs feel the same. Like they both got that kind of flimsy back tab. The retail is a little bit more flimsy than the rep. Okay. I don't know what I know what version this is, but this isn't like a new recent version. So hey, if you do want want a new recent version, just go get you one. You feel me? See the bottom cut's a little different. It's a little bit darker on the rep. Not too much of a problem, but it is a little bit darker. Okay. Come around to that bottom. Looking about the same. Tires of pie, just a little bit different color on the gum sole. All right. Let's come to the side. Got the retail on bottom. Rep on top. Okay. So one thing I see is that's off is like the shape of the wing logo. See the white shape of the wings logo is a little different, not too much, but a little bit. And that's just the shape of the shoe. Now this looks more shaped like a Jordan 4, okay? Leather quality is nice on them. You know, it has pushback. And that's the toe box on the uh, rep pair. But on the retail, you see how sleeker that is? And it's a softer, it's kind of softer leather. It's not that much softer, but it is softer. You got your pods right there. On the rep, you only see two. Y'all see that? You only see two on the rep three on here and it's much it's clearer on the retail than on the rep okay so main thing i didn't see is like the shape you got a tongue tongue is a little bit fatter on the rep a little bit fatter it's not that much fatter but it's a little bit in terms of the padding okay there goes the inside nike sb nike sb come to the lateral side the, the replica pair did come somewhat laced up as compared to the retail Retail came straight factory laced up like this. Replica did not, so, okay. So them uh, wings right there. Flight logo on the retail. On the rep like it's a it's a nice it's a nice replica of them. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like you know, on feet probably wouldn't be able to tell if you just want to pair the skate in. I can't really knock you on that. You feel me? Looking at the stitching, stitching looks about, looks better on the retail, tighter on the retail, definitely look tighter on the retail, retail right here, 
replica right here, okay? So there's no retail, <laughs> just retail. All right, let me get the uh, the left pair for y'all real quick. All right. Back tab. Tab looks good. It just It just looks, it's the shape of them. Like the retail right here is a little bit taller than this rep. This rep is like a, a regular back but they got the stitch right there it looks on point as far as the height yeah look on point as far as the height because the retail right here the uh left pair toe box comparison so as you can see it's not that much different it is a little bit lighter in the gray on the rep as compared to the retail stars are all there like it's bigger on the rep right here like the, the, like the replica just looks fatter. Like the replica just looks like they got more air units or something up in here. You know what I'm saying? Definitely still soft leather. It's soft like it is a soft leather, but it ain't it ain't soft like that retail. Actually, they kind of feel about the same right there. I ain't gonna lie. All right, back tabs about the same. Show the inside. Nike SB, Nike SB. So even though this was an earlier replica of them, it's not too early, but it's not one of the finer models, like a more refined one. They still pretty much got them down, man. Like you see the shape right here. Like you see the shape of these? Looks good, but as compared to their retail, the retail it's just sleeker, you know, just a sleeker look, you know what I'm saying? So I look at those air units. I can see two with the one right there. As compared to this one, I just see the two. I don't see the extra, okay? Not that big a deal, but you know, this is a real versus fake. Let me get them side by side like this. Let's see, compare. All right. They match up, they match up mostly. The colored green, colored green is pretty much spot on. In my opinion, them greens is like the same one and one. Like they looking good. You know? So, yeah, if you don't have these retro fours, you know, this is a, this is a very high sought after shoe. Um, I was very surprised that I hit a pair myself, you know what I'm saying? This is very sought after shoe. You know, hey, if you can't afford to spend the $400, $500 for what these shoes cost, man, I could not knock you for going across that water. You feel me? They have they have a lot of versions out. Um, I can't tell you what versions are good because, you know, I ain't trying to get clapped. But, hey, if you want to know, hit me up on IG. But, yeah, man, hey, man, you see for yourself, they pretty spot on. I mean, they're not that spot on, but on feet, man, nobody going to know. The biggest thing I could see the shape is just it just shaped more like a regular Jordan 4 and that toe box is a little bit thicker. But outside of that, man, they got the you know the wing thing. Let's see about these two. Yeah, these is kind of flimsy. They're not as flimsy as the retail though. That's another thing. Like these is way more flimsy than these. And these are hard. The the waffle laces, the waffles, these are hard as compared to the retail. The retail, they are much softer. But outside of those little minor differences, man, hey, rock what you like. And cop what you can, you feel me? It's your main man, Shoe Brother, though. Thanks for checking out my channel. Y'all hope y'all enjoyed this video. I got more on the way, man. We gone.